Uh, the Ethereum network has seen a surge in daily validator exit since the beginning of October. This may be due to the recent uh, uptick in Ether's value. Uh, Ethereum staking pool has experienced a shift since the beginning of October, with an increasing number of validators opting to withdraw their stake ETH. And Glassnode found in a new city in the report. Uh, According to the on-chain data provider, since the beginning of October, an average count of 1018 validators have exited the proof-of-stake network daily. Um, this trend coincides with the recent upswing in the altcoin's price in the last month, suggesting that validators are capitalizing on the opportunity to capture gains on their previously staked E. Because uh, to serve as a validator on the Ethereum network, a, a minimum amount of 32 E is to be staked. Since the October rally began, there's been a steady decline in the number of unique addresses holding this amount of ETH. At press time, 125, 189 addresses held at least 32 ETH, um, having declined by 1% since uh, the 1st of October. And Glassnode found further that most exits recorded in the last eight weeks have been voluntary validators are deemed to have exited the network voluntarily when they independently decide to exit the ETH 2.0 staking pool. And, uh, this differs from slashing events that account for validators being removed from the network for violating protocol rules. Uh, in the last two weeks, only two of such events recorded, Glassnode said. Uh, in addition, due to a rise in the daily number of exiting validators on the network. Uh, there has been a uh, corresponding fall uh, in ETH issuance. This refers to uh, the total amount of new ETH coins uh, added to its current supply. Um, when, according to the report, um, as the growth rate of validators slows and declines, the daily ETH issuance uh, has experienced a corresponding slowdown over the last seven days the growth rate of ETH issuance has slowed by up to 0.5% per day. Notably, the rate of issuance has decreased for the first time in recent days. How much are one 10,100 ETH is worth today? And so regarding the entity types that have facilitated uh, the most of withdrawals uh, since the beginning of October, uh, Glassnode found that centralized exchanges have been responsible and centralized exchanges have consistently dominated stake withdrawal events since October, with Kraken and Coinbase seeing the largest outflows.